Welcome back all my beautiful fishing fanatics out there. Welcome back to Inventica Anglers. If you guys haven't noticed, my last couple of videos have been talking a little bit about, you know, steelhead here in Oregon and different types of soft bees, different manufacturers, you know, things like that. And, you know, certain bait boxes, you know, I recommend, don't recommend, or, you know, what you should use and not. The other thing, keep in mind, guys, that when you buy a lot of the BNR soft beads here, um, they come with the beads and they also come with little T stops here, okay? Now, if you fill up a whole entire 3,700, you're going to have a lot of T-stops, okay? So the best thing to do, at least in my personal opinion, you don't need all those T-stops. If, if you're going to be using all those, you're running through a lot of stuff and you may want to relook at the way you have everything rigged up, you know, stuff like that. So what I do, I'll take an empty bag, like here's the 10 Okay, and I fill them up. So this one's 14. It's got all the 14 size T stops that came in the 14 size. And this one's got the 12. Okay, now I'm gonna do the, the 10s next. And what I do is I keep two in each of the compartments here. So I have two of these in two compartments. You know, I figure that's more than enough for fishing. If I'm running through them that i'm i'm doing something wrong i'm not putting them on correctly or I'm, I'm just absolutely doing something wrong so before you guys get rid of you know the bnr bags or or whatever bag you use if you happen to use the the clear drift on the back they still say the same thing like 10 mil you know those ones do not come with ah, well i lost that bag let me find another 10 mil here <laughs> here we go 10 mil so what i do is i open these up now i never rip off the top i just i really don't see the point in doing that i don't rip them off and dump them in because i reuse a lot of this stuff you know and these are perfect if i want to hang them up on the wall if it's a little hook for me to hang up so i don't i don't rip them apart and plus you just never know so what i do then i take the little t-stops here i just put them inside like so. Uh, I'm gonna get in the bag. And one more here. And then what I'll do is I'll seal this bag together. So with doing that, that's freed up three extra spots in my taco box here. Okay. And now I can add more things into it. Okay, so this one here is a molten natural. Uh, it's a 14 mil 10 pack. Um, let's see if I even have this one. Yes, I do. So perfect. I'm open this bag up. Dump you out in here. There we go. Then again, I let all the air out. I close it. Like I said, I don't rip the top off of it off. I don't, I guess I don't have a need to. You can open the bags the, the same. And then I come over to my 14 mil bag that I already have. And I take it and I put those in there. And then I seal them up. And I'll put them on either my, my wall behind me, middle cubby hole. And if I run out of them in my box here, all I gotta do is go, okay, I'm out of uh, the 14 mil ones. All right, okay, 14 mil pack, and I can take them and re-put them inside my box here. You know, and it's just a lot easier. You don't get everything kind of intertangled with everything else, okay? And now I've got room to put other things. And of course I'm missing uh, three slots of the 14 mil. So in here I've got 10 mil, uh, 12 and 14 mil beads. And then, you know, of course some of the little sack guys, you know, a couple of things I'll show you guys here. Let me close the lid. So this is the backside here, guys. This is my bead box, okay? 
show you the front. Okay, you can see mostly everything here over is BNR. Okay, down here are the the sacks for um, mics. You know the sack attack here. Okay, and then here, 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 and here are the new clear drift um, from Canada. Okay, so like I said, I really like those because the little eyes I call them bros and I've got the little um, Robede pegs right here. You know, and then down here I've got my three-way swivels and the packages still with different sizes. So I'll show you guys that here. So these are my three-way swivels. Okay, this is a size four I've got in there. Size six. Size four again. And another size six. I got a couple other ones to add in there. Just that's what I have. And what I may do is I may take them out and just put them inside here to make more room for other items. Now, of course, with having extra room, I can actually add my dragon weights here. Okay, or dragon balls. Oh, <laughs> Z guys, come on. So, this is in the fourth hand. So, what I like to do is I want to take. The little tag off here and i try to tag everything um you guys will see later here when i get done here is i'll tag the whole entire front of the box here so this way i know exactly what is in every single one or i'll keep a sticker like i'll take off the the fourth ounce here and i'll put it in so let's get this out here guys All right, so these are the, the well, uh, darn it. Um, hold on, guys. Yeah, got it. So these are the P-Line uh, Dragon Balls here. Okay. And then I'm going to plomp them in. And then I'm going to take out the other ones, too. These are half ounce. that up and then I'm gonna put them in the same spot okay I know a lot of people are gonna be well, why why because in reality if you can't tell the difference between a half ounce and a one fourth ounce you might want to relook at some things okay can you guys see the difference here half ounce Fourth, running away from me. I'll grab another one because I can't quite reach that. See the size difference? Come here, you. Yeah. Where, where did you go? Like, really? I need to think it. So I'm going to put them in the same and then I'm going to throw in a little sticker. Then I'm going to take the sticker off the other box here because it's going to remind me of what I have in there okay now what I can add as I was telling you guys before these are the other ones I was telling you guys about that you don't always have to spend money for the other brand so let me open these So this is what these guys look like out of their little box thing, okay? Woo. All right, there's those, and get this one out so I can show you guys exactly the difference in these two. And let's see if there's anything fancy in this little pocket here. Um, nope, it just tells me the model number, how to do it um you know nothing and just just so you guys know these are um made by uh owner hooks so owner hooks and then you know owner owner america corporation um just to give you guys a heads up so if a lot of you guys use owner hooks these are made by the same company okay these are a half ounce and so i'm going to show you guys the difference 
first I'll show you guys these. That's what they look like. Little drop shop with a little swivel on top up here. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So it moves just like the, the P line ones. Okay. Um so I'm gonna throw those in there too. And then of course with this one, because I want to, I'm gonna take that off. And I'm gonna throw the whole entire thing in there. Because this way I know that I already know what the P line, you know, ones are. Very easy, but I had to wait. These ones here, I might not find them at a, a store again. So I had the model number on there. And just to give you guys a the model number is 5155-088. Drop shot sinker with swivel, half ounce weight. So I'm gonna throw that in there. Okay, now that my box here is, is getting close to being ready to go fishing, I'm gonna grab some of my bobbers. Take these guys, throw them in here, and then of course with their little stops, put them in there, and so those are mediums, I don't have a large, sadly, not yet, I thought I picked up a large, but I ended up picking up um, a couple extra larges, but just to give you guys an idea, So this is a medium, this is an extra large. See the difference there quite a bit. Okay, and then, okay. Oh, well, I might have to rethink my shirt and pop you out, there we go. That works, I think I'm gonna do it that way. And, where did the... Nope. Uh, well, I lost the... Ah, there it is. These guys. So now I'm going to have to rethink how I want to do this because the extra large is just a little bit too big. That's why if I had a large, it'd probably fit just perfect. The medium can fit two in one slot here. So now i got to kind of decide how I want to rearrange a couple things if I want to. You know... I'm... I mean, in reality, I don't have to. I can take these guys here and actually mix them with the weights. Now, my soft glass and some of them that I bring when I go with me, I'm not going to put those in there. You know, these are going to go in a, pretty much either my bag or in one of my um, carrying bags with my soft bait. So, I'm going to compare the difference so you guys can see here take this off so you guys can actually see the difference in what I have and what comes in this is the bobber dog and pack from BNR okay that BNR Tahoe this is what theirs comes with okay guys there should be uh, two medium two large and there's you can tell there's not Whole much of a difference compared to what I showed you, okay? Here's their different slots, so their beads are right here. Now, keep in mind, they're not separated separated. I put the extra separations in here, so I was gonna try to separate them all. There's their T-stops down here. These are the Dave's, Dave's weights, I think they are. Let me make sure. Yep, Dave's Tingle Free. There's a couple of their, their um, beads and stuff are down here. Okay, and then, this is mine, okay, you can see all the beads, there's my mediums are here, my extra large, and then here you can see my three with silvers are here, then if you turn it over, you see the weights in the back, then of course I've got the beads, small beads are right there. So I'll hold them up in size comparison so you guys are aware, that's the difference. Okay. So it's really up to you guys on how much you want to pack in. 
Now, what I may do is this may be my my you my go-to box for all my beads. So what I may do is I may take a, a smaller box like this, or an even smaller one. Okay, that may or you know, like I said, uh, where'd you go? Something like this. I've got plenty of them over here. What I may do then is go through and pick out two of each and put them inside there, add some of the tea stops, a couple of the swivels with me, okay? And then I may keep this in the truck and bring the little box down with me if I'm just gonna do the little box, you know? Yeah, the heater is being weird. <clears throat> so that's what I do. Again, everyone does it differently. Everyone may just buy the pack because it's easier and they got everything they need. Everyone may just put their own. Everyone may only put, use a 3600. Everyone may use a smaller box. It really depends on what you like, guys. I try to make everything really simple for me and have everything in one box like this where I can clearly see everything in here. It's very easy to get to and it's not that heavy. So keep that in mind. What I may do is I may take all of this and transfer it over here. And then I've got my, you know, to go box right here. When I'm out in the river, when I'm going to the rivers, I want everything to be very simple and very, very easy to get to. I don't want to deal with, with any extra bull crap. Okay. I want to be able to get there, put my lines on and be out fishing. And everyone likes that. You guys don't want to be wasting your time sorting through tackle, tying up rigs, you know, doing any of that. I highly recommend pre-tying leaders, getting all that stuff ready ahead of time. Then all you have to do when you get there, tie on the leader onto your line or, you know, do your bobber stops onto the line. Get that all taken care of right when you get there. Grab whatever tackle box you know you're going to use. Throw it in there. Throw a couple other things in there and hit that water, you know. I personally recommend unless you're going to be jetty fishing where you can sit on a rock right there and tie everything up. I recommend tying everything at your vehicle beforehand and walking down to the river. It's a lot easier. You're not making a mess. And on top of that, you're not, you're taking less chances of, of trash, you know, garbage, wine, give into that water. You know, I've said this before. Fun, I'll always say it pack your stuff out don't leave it there you know we don't want to wake up one morning and ODF decides hey guys sorry no more fishing because people can't clean up after the mess okay and I know a lot of people I know that I fish which will actually clean up other people's trash before that reason I do the same thing you know I get a little trash thing in my truck if I have to I'll grab it I'll come and clean up a mess then I'll go fishing do I want to no I, I really don't but I want to be able to come back and fish. I'm sorry, but so with that, guys, I hope this helps you out. Understand that you don't have to have a 3,700 box or a 4,800. You know what I mean? I'm just talking, going big. You know, you can you can legit. I've talked about these before. These are beautiful little boxes that I bought. You probably can buy this at the craft store, but I got these at the Walmart in Clayton Falls. <clears throat> you know little boxes like this that you can buy you know now of course these ones here are really good if you go find some like this you can open up you know so you've got one two three four five so five ten fifteen twenty twenty of the little slots in here doubles up you know it looks like size comparison difference. Which this would be great. Throw in your waiter bag or your inner pocket. And you can fill this up with your soft beads. Whatever else you would need. So keep that in mind when you're when you're looking at boxes and you're looking at things. Look at the practicality of what you're gonna use it for. Okay, don't because I tell you, oh this one here holds all 50 of my beads I have. It's a great box to have. Well, you guys may not realize that this box may stay in the truck. 
and I may not take it down to where I go fish in the river. I may take one of my other smaller boxes, one of my yellow boxes, one of you know, the ones I have up here in my other video that you guys saw. I'm not gonna take this big box down. Now, there are some times I may take it down, but I look at it going, it's more weight. If I can slim down on weight, you know, I'm trying, but. <laughs> But I look at it going like that, is that I want my backpack to be light. You know, my waterproof bag, my backpack, or if I'm just carrying, you know, just a couple items with me, I'm gonna be weighed down. Like I said, there's good boxes out there. There's expensive ones. Boxes like these I love because they're compact. Some of these, you know, this one here that was, you can put your rod and literally just carry it with your rod. Stuff like that is great. When you have bigger boxes like this, one of them is not too bad, but when you start getting two, three, four, five of them fully loaded with stuff, it gets heavy. And that's the hard part is that you're hiking in a half a mile and you're already like, oh, okay, I got this. And you're tired. You don't want to be tired. And when you get to the water, you're like, yo, yo, where you at? I see you jumping in that corner right there. I'm going to cast that way and then drift on down to you. You know, guys? So please keep in mind when you're out, you're looking at things to buy. Look at truly what you actually truly want and need. And weigh it out. Think in your head when you pick up the, the box in the store, you know, go, okay, if I fill this up with a whole bunch of items, how much do I actually need how heavy is this going to be for me do I need that big box or can I go with a medium box you know so you got to think that way too and on top of that think about it if you have a, a small backpack and you've got four or thirty seven hundred boxes and they won't fit that means you got to rearrange to get items that you want to bring with you you know so keep everything in mind look at the things that you guys are buying you know and think about it Am I gonna be next to my, my car or my truck and be able to grab every other tackle I need? If I so, then great, use a big old Plano box like I have. You know, those things are fully loaded. I actually, I need to show you guys what's inside of them and you guys will be pretty amazed how much you can fit in there, but everything's organized, you know? You gotta dig through some things, but everything's in there. So just keep it in mind, guys, like when I go out and buy new fish and stuff, or I look at, at new stuff, I look and I look and go, do I truly need this? Is this something that I truly, truly, honestly need? Hmm. No, not really. Now, of course, if it's on clearance and I'm saving $40, $50, I'll probably buy it because I'm saving a good amount of money and I may use it down the road or be able to give it away to someone. Like, I bought um, a box over here um, to carry my rods in for my truck. You know, and I've been wanting one for a long time. I wanted one of the roof ones and they're quite a quite a bit expensive and so I found this one at Fisherman's Marina I was like man all right let me let me try this out um after bringing it home I realized it doesn't fit in my rods because I didn't pay attention I didn't read I was just kind of excited on the moment going, oh I can put my rods in this I don't have to worry about them breaking well it doesn't do me any good so I gotta return it now because the rods that will fit in it are actually in the back seat behind my back seat that I don't have to worry about breaking anyways. They're my emergency rods just in case one of my other rods break. You know, so that too you gotta look at. You know, there's a lot of factors in when buying stuff, but I just wanted to show you guys my my steelhead setup here, you know, and stuff like that. Of course, there's gonna be more videos and more information coming out soon. Of course, fishing videos are on their way. Please remember to hit that like button subscribe turn those notifications on guys if you want to go on a fishing trip or crabbing trip we've got excellent packages so book with us today guys thank you